What is going on everybody? The time played here and this is me playing buried for the very first time. Now the way this works, why I'm starting out at level 3, I usually like to start at the beginning. But I usually don't record anything um, until after it's already happened. But um, I didn't start recording until after my 2 hour period. And my game capture device only holds storage up to two hours. Unless I'm recording, I could record for pretty much however long I want. Um, so I'm gonna start it here at round three. I I just got my juggernaut, and uh, I I am like literally looking all over this map. It's freaking me out. Like it's nuts. Like I don't even know. I'm looking at this gun. I'm like, what the heck is this? I don't, I don't even know like like what's going on like like it's it's crazy this is my very first time playing guys um ps3 it just came out i literally just got done playing this um spoiler alert uh we made it around 26 um i am playing with uh some subscribers and uh some some fans and friends um i get lost a lot you're gonna get lost a lot um i did I see this thing in here I'm like what the heck is that so I shoot it in the dick and run away but um anyways uh round three um I I'm mostly just exploring right now I'm uh just I just want to learn the map because uh I'm gonna get lost like I, I already have and it was fun it was actually really really fun um the chalk uh, for all of you who have not played this map or are waiting for the DLC, waiting to get some money to get the DLC, um, I'm sure you've seen other videos and things, but uh, I'll, I'll explain it to um, you. The, you have to draw the guns. Um, you draw the guns where the question marks are. If you, if you see question marks, you, that's where the guns are drawn. If you do not know that, now you know. Um, what you do is you pretty much pick up the chalk for the gun. And you, you see it right in the beginning. Um, and uh, you draw them you draw them anywhere you want on the question marks. And they have them spread throughout the, the map. And you get points. And the last one that you do, you get 2,000 points. It's not anything big, but still, you get it. You could all, you could, like, we already did it all. And it's round four. So, I mean, but then there is also the bank. Um, I think uh, the bank is, you'll probably see later on. If not, uh, you'll see it later on in in my future videos. But uh, there's also the bank. There's also uh, the refrigerator for storing your gun. Right now, like like as you can see, I'm not really. I th I think my uh my friends are are doing something. They they're I'm I'm pretty much just looking where all the perks are and and I remember watching a video. I think it was Syndicate and. Uh, uh, I saw it was a new it was a new emblem for the perk and I was like oh there, there's got to be new perks the first thing I asked though the first thing I asked before I even played was this a pH flopper and they said kind of and I'm all like well what the fuck does that mean like is there or not like because I want my Mustangs and Sally's my Mustang and Sally's are like my friend um there's that that perk uh that's uh like uh what's it called like vultures aid or something like that what it does is it lets you see um the guns on the wall the mystery box um the perks that you haven't gotten yet um that trample scene that thing that thing you could you could get places like i'm looking at those question marks and i'm like what the heck is that like what the heck i'm all like what the heck is that i'm all trying to figure out what is that and i'm like oh it's probably the mystery box or something i don't know like I, all this is new to me and I don't know how to get over this rock and I saw my uh, friend he was went on the trample steam crawling so uh, I just followed his footsteps and I'm just I see those witches and I'm just like what the heck is witches like fucking what do I do and nobody's answering me like I'm all trying to ask them questions and they're all busy in their own world and freaking they take points away and i think when you're out of points they they take you down and uh because they they did say they take you down um either you want to stay moving or you want to shoot them 
but uh, pretty much once you're in that area you're safe um i am literally like shaking in my boots like this like they did a really good job on the suspense and the scenery making it scary um they did a really good job on that so here we are in the maze we're in the maze and surprise this is my like this is my first time going through the maze i'm thinking it open the door like i'm thinking oh it can't be that hard um surprisingly i get through it like not not too much of a problem i'm pretty much just exploring more than anything um i see like these leaves they grab the zombies and i'm th i don't know i thought that's what the, my perk did i was like oh maybe my perk helps like in the in in I don't know if I got her, I mean, I have no idea, but you see, like, branches stick out and grab them. I don't know if that's just part of it or whatever, but, uh, uh I thought it was pretty interesting to me, and I'm all like, well, I guess this is it. I guess this is, uh, the end of the maze. So I'm going down, I see a hole, I'm like, oh, shit, what do I do? Um, there, there's a double tap, I believe, is right up there. Or, no, it's stamina up. I, I'm pretty sure it's stamina up. And it's, uh, yeah, it is stamina up. And I'm like, oh, I don't want that. So I'm, I'm pr like, like you're gonna, I'm going like in every corner of the map where I'm trying to, just cause I wanna, I wanna explore. That's the first thing I do. This is my first time playing this map. So, um, I'm all like, oh, here you guys are, you bitches. You left my ass. I'm like, so here's pack a punch. Like, I don't even know, uh, if you have to turn on the power. I saw that there were, you can make turbines. I mean, I don't know, so whatever. So I, I just got this trophy, and I'm just like, I don't even know what I got that trophy for. I think it was uh, going down the the hole in the center of the maze. You go down the hole in the center of the maze. So here we are in round 19. Uh, looks like I'm in a barn for uh, horses, and uh, I see I, that juggernaut light. Like that, that helps it. Uh, I love going in that, in that little like crevice where jug Juggernaut is. Um, you'll see me camping in there later on. I'm looking at this dude like, what the heck's wrong with him? He glitched out or something. He's doing the moonwalk in place. Um, I told, uh, I mean, I've already been camping uh, where Juggernaut is like most of the game just cause when shit gets hot and the zombies are running all over the place. Um, it's kind of hard because I'm gonna get lost. I've already got lost, and I asked uh, Cooter Eater. I was like, "Oh, where's the refrigerator at?" And he showed me. So that's a refrigerator right there. That white thing that looks nothing like a refrigerator. Yeah, that's the refrigerator. So here I am, where Juggernaut is with my uh, uh, what are they called? I don't even know what they're called. They're like head choppers, chopper heads, or something like that. They work pretty well though. They work pretty well if you use them right, like how I'm using them. Um. I really don't even need to kill them. They last quite a while and they do not take very long to uh, to like regenerate like the trample steam. It takes a while for it to load all the way back and then it'll be ready for any weight. But um, they last quite a while and they, they take out a good chunk of zombies. Like like with if we had four of these here, it would we would be here all day long. Um, Notice how my perk is steaming green. I think it only works with that perk. But um, what my friend was saying was um, it's like a, a smell, a potent smell that that makes you smell like the zombies. And it's when you stand in one of the carcasses. So my strategy was working out a lot better than they they their strategy was. So they all decided to come in here with me. Now this is round 26. We have like every head chopper, every leg chopper, every limb chopper is over there. And then we even had the like subwoofer or whatever it is that shoots like sound waves, like really strong sound waves at the zombies. But um, we didn't have that. We just got all the choppers and just set them there. So like the choppers are literally just eating them up. Like it's, they're just... The problem that we had was, and we already all knew, was once we went in here, you're probably not going to get out. It's either you kill all the zombies or you die. Now if you noticed how it says 22 right there under the juggernaut, now there is a new item. It replaces monkeys and it replaces, uh, um, I don't know, I, I only know that there's monkeys in this map. I don't want to give any false information. But um, 
It's, it's a clock. It's like a, a time. It's called the time bomb or something like that. It looks like a, a, a portal. It looks like the portal in Ascension from the old, old zombie maps. Um, that's what it looked like. I grabbed it. I was like, oh, they have the, the portals here. But um, no, it wasn't that. It's a time bomb. And I threw it at round 22. And I thought, I was like, oh, what do I do? Do I press the button? And they're like, no, 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 no. You're going to rewind us all the way to round 22. And I was like, oh, okay. They're all like, you, we usually use that if you're the last guy alive. And if the only way you're going to win is if we need to rewind a round or the same round. But I didn't know that every max ammo or I don't know if it's every max ammo or every round that you get another another uh, time bomb. So they eventually told me later on in this round, why don't you throw it down? What are you doing? Like, I'm just like, dude, I don't know. Like, this is my first time playing. They're all they're all telling me like, oh, where do you get the candy to feed the guy? And they're all like the candy shop. And I'm like, oh, yeah, like I know where that is. Anyways, I, I'm learning pretty fast, so um, it's a great map. This is a, a great map. There's a lot of traps. Um, and I, what traps I mean, I mean like uh, holes for you. They're traps for you, like like falling down holes and uh, getting trapped and dying. Um, uh, th the closest map I could relate this to would probably be Shangri-La. Just because Shangri-La was like compact, a lot of a lot of scenery and detail, and that's probably how uh, this one is. That's what that's probably the closest map I could relate this to, to those those people who have not played it. Um, it doesn't really have a lot of open space anywhere. Um, like like I'm running my trains here. This, but I mean, I don't even know if I've experienced the whole map yet like there's probably pieces of the map I haven't even seen um I think I, I go down here yeah I get stuck as, as you saw my teammate just messed up my whole train so I mean I was all trying to see what I got in my in the mystery box I'm all out of ammo so um I, it was a ballistic knife so I was I was whatever and I didn't think they were gonna get me get me out, but I mean, 26 isn't that high of a round, but um, it, it's still up there, you know. This this literally just came out a couple hours ago, and uh, we're already at 26. So I think that that's pretty good. Um, I I mean, this this is not their first time playing it. This is my first time playing it, cause I didn't download it until a couple hours after it came out. These guys were on it at 12:01 a.m. Like they were on it, so like everybody logged in at 12 o'clock at midnight, and I'm just like, well, what's going on? And I didn't even realize that it was August 1st for for me until a couple hours later when I pressed the PS home button and I realized, how the fuck are they playing Barry? Like, and then I hit me like a re like a dummy and. Uh, I was like, well, what am I doing playing hardcore domination? I need to get on zombies right now. So this is when they told me throw another one, and I didn't even know I had it. So I, I, I threw it, and uh, so so it would rewind to right there where I threw it. Um, I to that point, uh, from what I'm told, it would rewind to that point. Um, I really don't have any any ammo right now. I'm. I mean, we're already tired. I mean, it's like it was like 4 a.m. when we about this. It was about 4 a.m. when we were here. Um, I'm having a blast though. If it wasn't so late, I would probably be playing more. Right now it's five o'clock in the morning, and probably sun sun's gonna start coming up. So people are already starting to go down, and you kind of get that feeling where you're not going to make it pretty much any farther than this. Uh, especially if we're all in here, we're, we're all going to die in here, and I kind of already knew that. I'm, I'm really happy about the zombies though, like the, the top hat that they added, and everything else. Um, the claymores are saving me, I have my claymore stack right there. I guess the only good thing about being here is when you go down, like how we have been, is uh, Juggernaut's right there. So here I'm just like, oh fuck, there's no way he's getting out of that. He's sitting there with whatever gun that is, 
I'm um, just holding it down. I don't know. I don't know if we did get out of it. I think we did. I don't know. Um, I'm just trying to like, get out. I'm all like, should I press it? Should I press it? Like, I didn't want to press it and it be the wrong move. I did not want to press it. I had it out, but I didn't want to press it, but it being the wrong move, you know? Like, be like, oh, why the fuck did you press it? But I guess it wouldn't matter if it saved our lives. Um, I'm not, I'm, I don't even have any ammo, so I'm sitting here with a clock in my hand. I'm trying to pick up claymores and just toss them down. I thought the round was already over. Um, I don't know what was up with that, but my claymores were, like, stuck in the air, like, four feet up. And I'm just like, what the heck is wrong with my claymores? And then they just drop. So I don't know what, what was going on with that, if it was a glitch or something. But, um, I'm thinking, like, I literally am thinking, um, you know, it's not, it's not, like, I'm literally thinking it's not... Like it wasn't the, the, the round didn't seem as strong as it should have been at round 26. So I thought it was the end of the round. And I guess that's a mistake I made. But in, it's better for me because I didn't, I was already tired and they, they already wanted to go. And you zombie players already know how it is. So round 26 is where we made it. The first thing I wanted to check was the leaderboards. And of course we're going to be ranked really high just because nobody's played it yet. So the first thing I check is leaderboards, four players, boom, 160 is what we're ranked. And uh, and it's probably going to be the lowest I'll ever be ranked because there's always those glitchers, there's always the hackers. And I, f I look at that and I frown upon that stuff. I don't, I, I've, I've done glitches before, but um, I, I haven't done any glitches on Black Ops 2. Um, I think I did in Black Ops. I just don't like it. Either way, guys, that's my video, round 26. This is for PS3 players. It just came out for me, so this may not be new to most of you. If you made it this far in my video, thumbs it up, please, and uh, subscribe to me. I'm the time played. If you like my videos, there will be more, especially more of Barry. There will be me solo, and I will talk to you guys later. Thank you guys for listening.